Welcome back guys, another tutorial on Redmi Note 9S Mine already flashed with the Indian global version, the Note 9 Pro I'm going to flash back the global version 11.03 MIUI 11 110 and one good thing about this Note 9S uh, let's say I purposely flash a TWRP that's a not for Note 9S for other model let's see what happened to it Okay. okay, hold on. On my PC. I'm going to flash the Redmi Note 8 TWRP on the Note 9S and what happened to it? Touch the pawn brick Let's see Here's my command Just copy and paste Passport flash recovery TWRP Okay We are flashing and enter Okay, writing okay, everything okay Okay Let's see if the pawn can boot to recovery Hold the volume plus and power button together until it reboot. See what happened? The system has been destroyed. No, I break my pawn. Don't worry, just hold the power button until it reboot this is not an MTK SOC this is Snapdragon see system has been destroyed come on power off Oh, now it's reboot. <laughs> it really destroys, so boot to fast boot. See, the passport is still there. Don't worry. Whether we, we can reboot back to the system. You know that the system already destroyed. Yeah, we, we... No, no way. Okay. That's the good thing. The preloader really protect the itself. Okay, we're going to flash 
a fast boot ROM uh, global version on the Redmi Note 9S. I'm going to going to use uh, Mi Flash Tool. The source code kernel, the kernel source code for the Note 9S already released by Xiaomi. That's the good news. That means custom ROM are on the way. See, this is the latest Mi Flash Pro 4.3.1220. Flash in fast boot. Get your fast boot ROM. Over here, there is two. This one is the global, and this one is the Indian version. Mix IN, WIN, this one. Why? This one is Indian IN. This one M I X mix. This means the global. Select that folder. Refresh your device. Make sure you don't lock your bootloader. I'm not sure about the lock bootloader pawn. This pawn already unlocked. This is the only way you can flash the fast boot drop. Now flash after this the pawn will reboot after it finish flashing system has been destroyed really really destroy still uploading my video on YouTube processing right now On the MTK SOC, don't simply flash anything via passport. You can break it. Your passport mod will be corrupt. Same thing also when you are flashing uh, through recovery. If something goes wrong, your preloader also can get corrupt especially the Android 10 please be careful on the Redmi Note 8 Pro because of the secure boot the ABB 2.0 the protection because Xiaomi don't want that phone easily flash through EDL. Every Xiaomi new device, the EDL are locked. 
unit and authorize me account to place the to place through EDL. Why? Because of the greedy seller. Let's say the the device are for China market. Let's say the Redmi Note 8 Pro, the China ROM. The price for the Note 8 Pro China version are cheaper than the global than the Indian and the European one if they can flash the global ROM into the China version then they sell the device as a global and the price would be increased so that they can get extra money from there so show me lock everything they don't want this thing to happen How about the bootloader unlock you don't worry even you lost the phone if someone can press the, uh, let's say the Xiaomi global ROM inside it, the device still lock with your account. They cannot overwrite the two partition inside. The one is Xiaomi partition, the other one is the Google partition that contain your data. If they erase that partition, there could be a problem with the pawn. Let's say you want to sell your device, first remove your account inside, also the Google account so the new the new buyer can use your device without problem whether you want to relock it back that's up to you after this we can see what's the difference between global and uh, Indian version the Pro and the 9S Wow, 450, almost 500 minutes 500 seconds Wow Really big the file Let's say 500 seconds, how many minutes? Almost 8 minutes flashing, wow! Because so many images going to flash Super image, system image, vendor image, all the size are bigger now now it's flashing a put image uh, rebooting okay we done flashing can okay, unplug the cable back to the pawn the pawn are rebooting side by side with uh, Note 8 Pro Note 9S Brick and Alive again <laughs> The 
the Redmi Note 8 also okay. I simply flash uh, any recovery that's uh, not for it, and the system destroy. But the fast boot is still there, and you can unbreak it easily on the Note 8. Not on the Note 8 Pro, the MTK SOC. I don't know why this MTK really, really bad. I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to hurt you really, really bad. Who's that? Now the phone alive from Note 9 Pro. It's become Note 9S again. <laughs> Open my Wi-Fi. Let me do the setting first. No SD card inside. After this, I'm going to deploy, remove some unwanted tape. I'm not going to use the Xiaomi Cloud, no backup for me. I like the camera at the center compared to the at the corner over here. It's a bit balanced. The camera considered not too big. A bit small. I like the IPS LCD compared to the AMOLED, POLED because once you break the LCD, the price of the IPS is cheaper than the AMOLED. Disable the Google update. I don't want it to be updated. Okay, what version? Eleven zero three. Now it become nine S. <laughs> and the nine S using the Google color 
that's mean no recording for it also everything is google Google message also contact also using Google stock app the messaging app also Google where is it extra YouTube it's the messaging messaging here it's the messaging app also using Google and the calendar also using Google Only the calculator, uh, show me calculator using Google Calendar, Google Message app, Google Caller app, and Google Contact app. <laughs> no calendar. Okay, the one. So many Broadway over here also. Okay, that's it. Not nine S and breaking. Any update? This is the latest one, I think. Eleven zero one, eleven zero three. The Indian already eleven zero four. Okay. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.